got to watch me make it from scratch. And this isn't the stuff you buy in a jar or in a little bottle. So I deal only with the most real, the most real ingredients, the most freshest ingredients, the best condiments I can get. And I tell you what, when I make a brown gravy, and if you follow my instructions, my brown gravy comes out good, and yours going to come out perfect. Yo, Gaddy checking in. This one's for Chef Porque. Aye! I just got finished watching your video, man. And I went out and I did something that I don't normally do. I went out and bought a chuck steak. Actually, I think it was a chuck roast. It was on sale for $3.29 a pound. Normally, I would just use a deer steak. But, uh, you know, I've been traveling. And, uh,. I've been, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, got me a chuck steak, and uh, we're going to cook it up in a brown gravy. We're going to do it Bill Gaddy style. And you know what we have to do first? Yeah. Yeah. Priorities. we got to get our priorities straight. It is 94 degrees in the shade, and I'm, uh, I'm leaking. I'm leaking. I'm telling you. Mm. Man, I've been waiting all day for that. Now let's get to cooking. I'm hungry. Check it out. All right. I have salted both sides of my chuck steak and is just about ready to be dropped into my Dutch oven. enough vegetable oil to cover the bottom of the pan. Alright, I'm running out of light. Man, it's 94 degrees in the shade and I waited maybe too long. The sun's going down, sun's setting and my camera does not work well after dark. I'm going to use a little vegetable oil and I'm going to brown this. There's going to be a link to Chef's uh, video of the inspired this one and uh, it'll be below check it out in here I have my peppers and uh, bell peppers and some garlic and celery and in here I have onions and I have chili powder I have garlic powder vegetable oil yeah some cayenne pepper some black pepper and salt all right let's let's get to cooking I'm getting hungry let her get hot Chuck steak right in here. Oh yeah. He's a sizzling. I'm gonna back that fire down just a little. Sounds good. Looks like it's browning nicely. I don't know if you can see this or not. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Looking good. After about 15 minutes, I, I flipped it over and she's looking pretty brown on this side right here. And uh, we're getting a lot of juices going. A lot of nice juices. Look at that. Looking good. Yeah, yeah, the old chef would say that would be good to eat right there. Nice and tender. But we're not done yet. We are looking good. You can see that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wanting to fall apart.
see that. So I've removed the piece of chuck meat right there and I'm put the lid on. We're going to set them alongside the fire. I've got my onions in here in the drippings and now we work it across the bottom and you can feel the all the chunks of meat and the caramelization that's going on right there. Oh man if you could smell that. Oh, holy cow. That is so good. We're letting these get tender and black, almost black. We're going to cook it down. Keep stirring it. Alright, so now it's cooked way down and we're supposed to add enough water to make those onions float. Oh, just like that. Oh, yeah. Yep, the, just enough water. The onions are floating in that nice little brown mixture. And we're about to add some celery and the bell peppers and garlic and uh, chili powder. And, uh, what else? A little garlic powder and a little pepper. No salt. We've already salted the meat, so we're not adding any salt. Okay, so I have bell peppers and celery in that. And now we're going to stir those in, let them cook. Now you season with a little cayenne pepper to taste. A little black pepper. We're not adding any salt because we salted in the beginning. Black pepper. Nice. I have some green onions. Right out of the garden. Already diced, ready to go in there. A little garlic powder. We've already put some garlic cloves in there, about three cloves of garlic, but uh, we're adding a little powder to the mixture. Yep, that looks good. Oh, you should see this brown gravy. Nice. It's thick and Look at the texture. Look. Oh. That look good. The caramelization. That is awesome. The veggies are looking very, the peppers are looking very tender. The, the uh, green peppers as well. And the brown gravy. You know, I apologize. The only thing I don't have that the chef said with paprika. I don't have any paprika. I've searched all over down here and I don't have any paprika. I hope that does not make a big difference, Chef. But sure looks good and it smells awesome. Now we're gonna remove our piece of chuck steak out of the pan. We're gonna put it in this Dutch oven with all the good stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we're going to cover it with just enough water to cover the meat and put the lid on and let it simmer. About two hours. Oh yeah, that is looking good. Just a little bit more water. Now I know why he says "ie" all the time. I got on to the uh, chef from uh, Punchy Jumper. 
and um, I think his son is the uh, treasure hunter. I got, I'll put a link to him down below as well. All three are awesome channels. I'll put the lid on, and I'm going to build that fire up just a little bit to get that to simmer in. And we're going to still let her cook till tender. It's already tender, but it'll be even more tender. Sitting there simmering, I'm going to have me a nice cold bush beer. And I think maybe uh, a couple of shout outs are due. Alright. It's time. Yeah, Jack, it's time. I guess I got some time while that simmers. And it could be a bush time with Bill. But uh, it's not. Yeah, maybe it is. It's simmering. I'm just waiting to eat. Chuck, my hollow point. Ha, I'm so happy to see you shoot, my friend. That was that Vaquero. Excellent. Excellent. I've been waiting a long time to watch you shoot. Mm-hmm. Chuck, Super C, Super C Richard. Awesome, man. You guys haven't seen his channel? Check him out. The link is below. All the links will be below. DG, Hemp Seed Attic. What can I say? Check her out. Awesome. Oh, that fire's looking good. You could smell that. Man, oh man. I think we're finally done here. Oh, yeah. The chef didn't warn you that uh, you don't want to start this one on an early, early evening. <laughs> you don't want to start it later in the night. Because what is it? 10.30? Uh, quarter, quarter 11. And I'm about to eat. But man, oh man, you don't want you don't want to cut it off early. You want to wait, because I'm telling you, that looks awesome right now. Okay, I can honestly say I really have been waiting all day, <laughs> all day for this. Yeah, all day. Yeah, all day. Man, you want to start this meal uh, earlier? It was 94 degrees today. I had to wait till sunset to start the fire, and uh, it's uh, 11 o'clock now, and it is done. Little Thousand Island dressing on that garden fresh salad, and then I have oh, it's just falling apart, just falling apart, just excellent. I'm going to give this a try. All right, man, this one's for you. Mm. Man, that is good. Mm. Well worth the wait. Well worth it. And of course. Mm. Man, it's been a long day. All right. 